The word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, starting off in verse 9, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. This passage is often misunderstood and misconstrued to teach that a believer engaging in any of the aforementioned transgressions is subject to the loss of their salvation, essentially asserting that our personal righteousness qualifies us to inherit the kingdom of God. However, the word of God is clear concerning the salvation of men. Titus chapter 3 verse 5 says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done. Don't miss that. But according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. That being justified, how? By his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Man is made righteous the moment he places his faith on Christ, trusting him alone. The perfect and sufficient righteousness of Christ is imputed unto him. That is imperative to understand. Romans chapter 3 verse 21 says, But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Notice this. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith, of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that what? Believe. In the context of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Paul is rebuking them for bringing matters between brethren before the unbelieving world. 1 Corinthians 6, 6 says, But brother goeth to law with brother, notice this, and that before the unbelievers. Paul's contention is that the unsaved are unfit to judge matters between believers. The saved should suffer themselves to be defrauded rather than going to the unrighteous and unjust to judge between the brethren. Why? Look at verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous or unsaved, the unbeliever, shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Verse 11, and such were some of you, don't miss that, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Understanding our state prior to salvation, unjust, unsaved, unbelieving, unrighteous, and our present position in Christ, having the imputed righteousness of God by faith. As a believer who is washed, who is sanctified, who is justified in the name of the Lord Jesus by grace through faith alone. Praise God. Why would I bring my matter with another brother before an unbeliever? Think about that. The unsaved man who will not inherit the kingdom of God. The unjust going about to establish his own righteousness. Watch this. Christian, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? That is true. However, remember, as believers, we are washed. We are sanctified. We are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the righteousness of God by grace through faith alone.